primary training is in the, the um, especially physical medicine and rehabilitation or physiatry. I've been doing that, uh, I finished 2008 and I practiced for a year and a half, um, general kind of pain practice, a lot of spinal type pain. And then after that year and a half of practice, I decided to go back and do a fellowship in, in pain management. So I've been out of that fellowship for, uh, for about five years now. Um, my practice has consisted of, I guess for the last five years, a pretty good mix of uh, orthopedics, uh, non-operative orthopedics, of course, and um, a lot of spinal, chronic spinal pain, um, and very heavy in the interventional type of treatments. I was I was introduced to it, uh, you know, just out of my fellowship, my, my first job out. Uh, we we kind of started a um, really a, a new. It was very much a, a new treatment at that time, and still is r relatively cutting edge. Although there's a lot more people doing it these days in terms of you know pain practice and orthopedic practices, but I think it really came out of a need for something more than just a surgical fix or a pain pill or a steroid shot that you know so many people had gone through for so many years of their lives and, and just were frustrated or had side effects or complications, just weren't getting the improvement they wanted. And to be able to do something to, to heal the body, um, and especially to heal it using your own cells in a very safe, uh, minimally invasive way is, is very attractive, um, especially in, in the context of, of function and keeping people functional and keeping people active. The attractive thing about Premier is they've been doing it so long, they've, they've got the infrastructure, they've got the, um, I mean, they're essentially a, a kind of a single specialty clinic, if you will. This is all they do. So, you know, if you go to um, some other private practice orthopedic clinic, pain clinic, they're, they're operating in the scope of multiple other things that they're providing. So that usually ends up taking up a very small niche or, or percentage of, of that practice. Premier is exclusively a regenerative practice, so they, they focus on that, they're experts on that I would say. And that's where their training lies. You know, anything outside that scope of regenerative medicine um, certainly gets funneled back into other, other practices, spine practices, pain practices. So that's, that's one of the big things. The alliances they've made um, uh, nationally uh, with research companies, with the NFL, have also been I think, really attractive. And, It'd be very hard to duplicate that on your own or through a smaller, lower volume clinic. I, I think one of my earliest successes uh, was uh, exposure to uh, a Major League Baseball player. This particular individual had been pitching for, I suppose he was in his eighth or ninth year. He really wanted to get a couple more years out of it. Um, he became aware of, of what we were doing um, through, through a mutual friend who was also a, a rep who came by our practice. and So he ended up having a stem cell injection in his back at two levels. Um, about two months before spring training started, so this would have been, I think, February. And he did remarkably well. And as my first, you know, major league baseball player, my first professional athlete, I was, I was a little a little scared, to be quite honest, that I was going to potentially harm this guy, make him worse. He did great. He went on to pitch the, the following couple years with very, very few back problems. So, um, and, and I've also, there's another one that really stands out uh, even before that was, um, this patient uh, is, is a local, uh, well-known veterinarian, um, triathlete competing on like an international level, and she had a pretty bad disc in her back, just one level. Um, we did the uh, bone marrow-derived stem cells on her, and she did remarkably well. Within six months, she was out in Hawaii running the Ironman and, and finished in the top five in her, her age category, which was just unbelievable. I, I've never seen a result like that with, with anything else that I've done. In terms of conventional things, the steroids, the surgeries, the you know, medications and therapies that we used. So it's pretty impressive.